Hello and welcome. When Star Wars Battlefront migrated over from the consoles to the PSP, nothing really changed in the gameplay department. The only real change was the graphics. However, when Rebellion were planning a sequel, they decided to go all out. Instead of having space battles in its own little box and ground battles in its own little box, they decided to make the box massive and have ground battles and space battles happening at the same time. However, a massive change in the formula like that might have ruined the entire Battlefront series. So let's see if it paid off. So today we're going to be looking at Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron for the PSP. Check out Kid Kong from us at 16-Bit Games. It uses our latest controller interface, which allows you to play in both landscape and portrait, allowing you to play the game the way you want to. Check it out, and the link's in the description. The changes in Battlefront Elite Squadron's gameplay is dramatic when compared to previous Battlefront games. Conquest is no longer limited to just capturing command posts or destroying capital ships' critical systems. You can now go and focus on the battle as a whole, focusing on destroying critical systems to go and gain more points to further your team's chances for victory, or focusing on the ground battle to go and utilize systems like the ion cannon to take out the enemy ship's shields, landing on said enemy ship and taking out its reactor, and landing back on the planet via an escape pod and hoping that you can watch the ensuing explosion. The gameplay shift has been a welcome change, instantly making the gameplay a lot more replayable and easily overshadowing some of the corners they had to cut in order to make it. Space battles, in my opinion, has taken the worst hit, reducing the amount of vehicles that you can fly around in to just two, a assault craft and a landing craft and making it a lot more boring. It almost feels as if the base, the space battle has shrunk in size. Ground battle fared a lot better with better auto aiming, better ways to detect when your character will auto aim, and ultimately having better weapons from melee weapons to faster rifles. I just feel that the combat is a little bit more shallow when compared to something like Battlefront 2, but a lot more engaging than a game like Renegade Squadron. The story in Elite Squadron is a harmless tale of a clone soldier named X2 who was a clone of a Jedi instead of Jango Fett, and it follows him through episodes 3, 4, 5, and 6 and eventually beyond before episode 7 was ever invented going into tales from legends and dropping in names from characters which appeared in other games i find it's amusing to play through and it does its job as a story mode however i personally don't like it and i felt it could have been done a lot better but as it is it's harmless and it's okay The game controls just as well as it did back in Renegade Squadron, but for some reason they flipped the controls for space combat. Now your throttle's on the left analog stick and you move with the face buttons. On default controls it's the other way around, but with my personal preference of alternative controls, it's a little bit off. Aesthetically, Elite Squadron looks a lot like Renegade Squadron, however, I feel that the game looks a lot better due to the fact that there's added details in the environments, especially in the newer maps, and it feels a lot more alive. Maybe it's due to the fact that it's a little bit smaller per map than in Renegade Squadron, but I just really like the way these maps and these levels look. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said in space. It's dull, lifeless, boring, and the ships look meh. Well, these squadron sounds pretty good. The music soundtrack is right from the movies, the blaster fires from the movies, and ultimately, it sounds like a Star Wars game. Even on a PSP, it sounds pretty freaking good. Star Wars 
Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron is the most ambitious Star Wars Battlefront game that has ever been released. However, that ambition did lead them to cut corners in areas like space battles, ultimately weakening certain areas of the game. But as a whole, the game is still pretty strong, and the improvements that they did with the gameplay for ground battles and for combat itself, it makes it a very fun and easily replayable game. Personally, if your love is in full space, this is one of the better Battlefront PSP games that's out on the market. And with that in mind, I definitely say the game is worth your money and time. It's a fun game, it's a cheap game, and if you have a Vita or a PSP, it's definitely worth taking a look at. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please check out the annotation below for more videos or the cards. If you like or dislike it, please like or dislike it below and leave a comment if you have anything you want to say. I'll get back to you. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from us and check us out on social media. Anyways, thank you for watching.